Hello. Welcome on back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing well. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna tone it on down just a wee bit and create something for y'all that's not just wearable, but something that's really quick and easy to achieve. The skin is still gonna be glowing, luminous, and breathable with the products that we use. The, uh, the eye makeup is really simple and subtle, and we're gonna to top everything off with a pop of color for the lips. And I'm doing this all in partnership with Elemis. So without further ado, if y'all wanna learn how I created this look right here, then keep on watching. So to begin, I'm taking the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, and as you see here, I'm first applying it to the general areas of the face, such as the forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin, before I begin to really massage the product into the skin. Y'all have seen me use this cleanser quite a few times on my channel by now. It's an absolute staple, not only just on my makeup kit, but also in my personal skincare routine. I've used a lot, a lot of different cleansing balms over the years, but this one from Elemis is my favorite, especially to prep clients' skin with. When you first apply it to dry skin, it breaks down, dissolves, and wipes away long wear makeup and pollution and oils that have built up throughout the day but it doesn't strip the skin. You know what I mean? A lot of times in the past when I would just use a, um, a standard face wash, it would leave the skin feeling really dry and stripped, which would then make the makeup look weird and cakey. But with this Elemis product, it retains that moisture in the skin and it's so easy to use. So you saw me apply it, really work it into the skin, and then I've added some water to it, which then activates this balm to become a cleansing milk. And then you'll see me wipe it off here in just a second with a warm washcloth. It's really like, you know, three cleansers in one. It softens the skin as a balm, breaks down the makeup as an oil, and then hydrates to finish as a cleansing milk. Also, I'll tell you, it smells divine. And that says a lot coming from me because I'm really picky about fragrances in my skincare products, but this, the scent of the, um, the lavender and the chamomile and the eucalyptus makes me feel like I'm at a spa. I wish you could smell it through the screen. And, it, and they have a, um, a rose scented one too, if that seems to be more your style or better yet, if you prefer, no fragrance at all, they have this balm in the naked version, which is completely free of any scent. But anyways, as you see here, I'm wiping off the cleanser with the washcloth that the product comes with, which will be the last step in cleansing the skin. Next up for foundation, I'm using the Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation from Shiseido, and I'm applying this on with a makeup sponge. The shade here I'm using is the shade Lace, which happens to be the same shade I wear on myself. This has been my go-to foundation for the days I want that 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 no makeup makeup look. I literally use the smallest amount of this on myself and it gives me that healthy lit from within glow. Now I'm using a bit more on my model today, Lakin, than I would use on myself, but you can still see that beautiful radiance it gives to the skin. It's a medium to full coverage foundation. They have, I think, 30 different shades to choose from, I think. And, uh, and the best part is, is that it contains an SPF of 30. All right, after this, I'm using the Magic Touch Concealer from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just brushing on a bit of this around the eyes before blending it in with a sponge. I'm not going in too intense today with highlighting and the contouring and all that. I've been going kind of glam lately, my last few tutorials, so I, I want today's look to be more wearable. I know a lot of you find these kind of tutorials more relatable because you don't want to spend an hour to do your makeup just to leave the house or, or go to the grocery market. And that's totally understandable. So really this whole look takes about 15 or 20 minutes to do. Now, after we have the concealer blended out, I'm heading over to this Rare Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Nearly Rose and applying this onto the cheeks with a blush brush. The color in the packaging can be a little intimidating because it is a bright pink. But as you see here, when used in a really subtle dose, it looks incredible on the skin. So go in with a light hand and just know that you can always build it up to intensify it. But this is a color that looks beautiful on all skin tones. It's saturated enough for deeper skin tones, yet subtle enough for fairer skin tones like our model today. Just this alone on her is exactly the look I want today. I'm not gonna bronze up her skin and contour and all that. I want to keep this look uh, fresh and, and simple and luminous. 
Next, I'm using the one size translucent setting powder and lightly applying this to set the concealer into place. I, again, not using a whole lot of this, just enough to set the product into place because otherwise it, it'll move throughout the day. And you'll notice here as I apply this powder around the eyes and the rest of the face that I'm staying away from the areas that I want to remain luminous from the liquid foundation we use. That's a great little trick because what that's doing is it's allowing us to utilize the finish of the products to manipulate the reflection of light. So in areas where you may have fine lines or you know large pores or texture, you'll want to mattify with a powder. And other areas that you want to have a little glow or shine to, such as the cheekbones, you leave as is without powder. Now to begin on the eye makeup, I'm dipping into this shade here from this Tarte eyeshadow palette and just buffing this onto the upper lid before then smoking it out through the bottom lash line. I literally dipped into this shade once, which will give us more than enough pigment to blend to create that subtle smoky eye. Honestly, had I thought I'd later be applying a bright ruby lip, I probably would have just you know, applied a light shimmer or a highlighter to the upper lid, but you know, it is what it is. It all turned out fine and looked great at the end. What's most important here is that it's quick and easy. After I have this shadow blended out, I'm heading over to this mascara from Christian Louboutin and running this through the top and bottom lashes. I know this, <laughs> this looks a little bougie of me, but he was nice enough to send it to me, so I wanted to use it. And it does amplify her lashes, especially the bottom lashes. You all know I love bottom mascara because I like that chunky, doll-like effect, which is exactly what this gave us. Next up, I'm using the Makeup by Mario Master Blade Brow Pencil in the shade Dirty Blonde. I start with brushing down her brow hairs and then I lightly run this pencil through. I'm using a very, very light hand here with this because I don't really want it to look like she has product in her brows. You know what I mean? I want there to be enough where it gives the slightest amount of dimension, but not so much where it, you know, it takes over the look and distracts from the bright lip we'll be doing in a minute. And what's nice about this pencil is that it is sharp, so you can really get in there with precision. To lock this brow into place, I'm using the Benefit Clear Brow Gel and just running this through the brow hairs. I start with going the opposite direction that the brows grow in, just to get the hair saturated with the product and then I brush them back down in the position I want them to dry in. After this, I'm using the Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam and lightly dusting this onto her cheeks to amplify the glow we already have from the complexion products. This is a fantastic, fantastic highlighter. It's super affordable. It's not, you know, glittery or chunky. And this specific shade looks great on fair skin tones. To begin on the lips, I'm using this Buxom Power Line Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Recharged Ruby and using this to line Lakin's lips with. I had almost done a nude lip today, but I, I don't know. I, I think a nude lip would have washed her out a bit. Unless I applied more blush, then I think it would have worked, but I, I don't think I've ever done a magenta ruby lip before on my channel, so I'm switching it on up a bit today. Plus, I do love these lip liners from Buxom. They're super sharp, they're highly pigmented, and they don't feather or bleed throughout the day. They also have a brush on the other end of it, which is what you see me using here, to diffuse that liner inwards, just to get a softer effect. Of course, you can add a lipstick if you want, but I'm just gonna use a gloss. The gloss I'm using today is this one from Laura Mercier in the shade Violet, and I'm applying this directly on top. By the time I give this a few minutes to melt into the lips and lip liner, it creates a really beautiful blend that looks bright and saturated, but still wearable and daytime appropriate. And lastly, for the final product, I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist to set her makeup into place, which makes this the final step in how I created this quick and easy, fresh makeup look on our naturally beautiful model.
there we have it kids. I hope y'all enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out more of my work on my Instagram at Painted by Spencer. And until next time, I'll see you soon.